Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen and today we are going to solve key radius sub average problem from daily challenge on uh, lead code using sliding windows technique. So it uh, is efficient approach and we should get a time complexity of about O n, so linear. Quickly recapping the problem. We are given a zero index array of integer and an integer k and our task is to build and return an array where each index holds the key radius average for the sub array centered at that index. So uh, brute force approach will be to just traverse the array and calculate the averages, uh, but uh, it's not optimal because uh, it will uh, consume O n times k uh, time complexity and we will use a uh, sliding window so it will be more uh, efficient approach so let's implement our solution so first initial n as num length and array of averages new int of n and arrays fill averages with minus one and then long window size will be two times key plus one. And if key is zero, we just return uh, the nums. And uh, second case, so if window size is greater than our array, so n, we return averages, so array with minus ones. And window sum will be zero. And then we calculate first window sum as zero until window size increment and window sum plus nums at position of i and averages of chi will be int window sum divided by windows size so first average calculated and next we are rolling window size and yes so window sum will be just window sum minus nums i minus int of window size plus nums at position of i and averages at position i minus key will be window sum divided by windows size so finally return averages so yeah uh, it's uh, approach with rolling window and here we roll the window. So we subtract the uh, last element in array and add the next one. So let's run the test and see if it's working. So yep, our implementation work and we can also uh, check it for unsynthesized cases. So it's a bigger one, but mm, let's uh, explain briefly what we did. So first we initialize the average array of uh, n with a size of minus one and a variable window sum to zero. And we handle both edge cases where key is zero or the window size is greater than n. Uh, so here you can see both uh, edge cases. So for example, key is zero. So then we return original array or uh, the key is greater than array. So we cannot calculate it. We output the array with uh, filled with minus ones. And next we calculate the sum of initial window and store it in the window uh, sum so we then calculate the initial key radius average for a particular uh, yeah for first uh, k index and moving forward here is the main part so we iterate through the rest of the array shifting our window to the right by one element at each step and for each new window we update window sum and calculate the new key radius and we do it efficiently because uh, instead of calculating the whole sum, we just reusing our uh, previous sum. So windows sum, we have calculated and we subtract the uh, last element uh, on sliding window and add the, the new one uh, here. So uh, imagine we have a key very big. So for example, 10,000. So instead of uh, summing up uh, those 10,000, we just do two operations. So we reuse previously calculated um, 10,000 sum of rolling and we subtract just uh, last element and we add next that was not included yet. So uh, this is the trick and instead of key operations, so key might be for example uh, 10,000 and imagine that we have like key operation and we need to do an 
iteration. So then it's a complexity of k times n. And instead we have like uh, just uh, n time complexity because we do it just in two operation instead of uh, k. So let's run it for unsynthesized cases and see how it's working and uh, yeah, what is performance. So performance is really good. So we beat 91% of runtime and also 86% with respect to memory. So it's uh, efficient uh, solution. And yeah, so we are optimize it really well. I hope you like this video and know how to solve it using a uh, slight windows technique. And yeah, so always remember a brute force solution is a good start, but there is uh, often a more efficient way to solve a particular algorithmic problem. And as always, uh, keep practicing. And if you have any question, uh, please leave the comment down below and follow for more coding tutorial and challenges and see you in the next video. Happy coding.